Today is Friday, it's January 16th, and this is Wayne Goldsboro Television. I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best. Good morning, glad to have you with us. Oh, it's Friday. We're always glad. Whoop de doo <laughs> Yes, it is a big whoop de doo <laughs> A big whoop de doo there. <laughs> Who's, do we have anything about today's program? We do not. We do not. But we do, however, want to talk about Monday. That's what I want to talk about. And how Monday is Martin Luther King's celebration. Yes. Um, we will be closed. City and county offices will be closed on Monday. At 7.30 a.m., we'll have a Martin Luther King holiday breakfast. Uh, let's see. That will be held at Hooks River Road at the District Assembly Hall. Mm -hmm. Uh, if you are interested in participating, uh, getting a ticket, you can call LaTerry Ward with the City of Goldsboro. She is in the Community Affairs Department. She will be glad to hear from you. But that is Monday morning at 7.30 a.m. And there's a long list of speakers and mm -hmm. people that will be a part of that particular day and celebration. Certainly should celebrate the life and times of Dr. King. Absolutely. Certainly should do that. Mm -hmm. Very wise man. All right, the 16th of... January is today, if you're keeping <laughs> up with that sort of thing. I often have trouble with that. The Wayne County Reads and the Wayne Community College Cultural Diversity Global Education Task Force uh, will be presenting a program by Dr. John O'Sullivan, Global Food Issues Present and Past. I'm not going to explain it. I'm just going to tell you about it. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. No, I have no idea. <laughs> Anyways, it's 7 o'clock on Tuesday, January 27th. Uh, at the Wayne County Public Library. Now, programs uh, will continue each Tuesday evening thereafter, but the first program is at 7 o'clock on Tuesday, January 27th. You can get all the details and the schedule by going to the Wayne County Public Library website at www.wcpl.org. Well, the library holds a tremendous amount of free lectures and activities in their assembly area. The Gertrude Wheel Auditorium. Absolutely. Yeah. So go yeah. to their website often and see what all they do offer and most of the things they offer are free. Yeah, they do. And I don't know of anything that uh, they have that is not free. They may have uh, from time to time if they have a, a fundraiser a or, or something, fundraiser or something mm -hmm. for kids or uh, some of the supplies might cost, but everything else is free. It's a great place. Yes, it is. And, and Donna Phillips does a fantastic job. Donna Phillips, the entire staff is just great. Yes, they are. Kudos to you guys. Yes, indeedy. Uh, mark your calendars. Friday, February the 13th, it is the Daddy-Daughter Dance. It's the annual event at Goldsboro Parks and Recreation's Herman Park. Okay. It will be 6 to 8 p.m. on that evening. The tickets are $7 per person. Call to register at Goldsboro Parks and Recreation. They would love to have you. It's gotten bigger and bigger every year. That is so true. Coming up, the Community Open House is on Thursday, January 29th, 10 o'clock. The presentations at 11 a.m. and 6 p.m. This is almost an all-day affair. It's uh, uh, with overviews of programs, rest of time, come get a tour, get taken to particular areas, lots of live demonstrations at the Community Open House. Where's that album? Community Open House for what? Does it say? I mean, just wondering. It's got to be, <laughs> look, it, it's got to be the college. Because no Wayne one, Community it's College. It's got to be at the Wayne Community College. Yes, this is on yes. the college uh, thing here, and it's in listing the Business and Industry Center. Oh, the Child Care Center. The Child Care Center, the Continuing Education Department, and the Basic, basic skills, skills Department. So, Community Open House, January 29th at Wayne Community College. All day. <laughs> okay. And let's see what else is coming up. Oh, we talked about every Friday. Don't forget, there are movies being offered at two locations. Yes. Herman Park at 1130 each Friday morning. And then at 2 o'clock at the Senior Center on Ash Street. That's right. Today's, Lots to choose from. Today's movie at the Senior Center is Pearl Harbor. Which is a fantastic movie. Yeah. Yes, it is. Today is the uh, 16th, right? Yes, all day long. Well, this is the day. This is a big day now. We need to celebrate this. Uh, what are we celebrating? Celebrate the name of Everett Barney. On this day, over 100 years ago, 1866. What did he do? Right after the Civil War ended, he patented. He received a patent for the all-metal screw clamp skate. The, excuse me, the what? <laughs> <laughs> the all-metal screw clamp skate. The roller skate. The roller skate. Yes, yes. My goodness. You remember those, right? This yeah. is before yes, I remember roller those. Skate. Yeah, when you used a key. Oh, I don't know if you when you put, used a key. Put, no. the, put the skate in your, in your on your shoe and you t tighten oh, it up. Oh my a, goodness! With a skate yeah, key. Ah, uh, oh yeah, yes. And then Melanie had a song about it. <laughs> did she? Yeah, brand she did. <laughs> yeah. A brand new pair of skates. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, we like the, the skates of today much better. 
I yeah. do it myself anyway. Whatever. Whatever. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I've got uh, stuff coming up uh, right after our interviews here, which we go to right now. Our guest in the studio today is Tax Administrator Alan Lumpkin with Wayne County Tax Department. Hey! How you doing, Wayne? I am glad you're here, man. How uh, you doing? Are you? Well, I am. Usually that the tax man come with you, people sort of shy away from that. No, 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 no. They have to look at it the other way, and the other way is everyone has to pay taxes. You can't get away from true. that, you can't get around that, and you should pay taxes because that's how we have things. That's true. That's Very how true. the county and the city and the country and everybody receives benefits to a point is through paying taxes. Through the That's how they pay for security from the police and law enforcement. They pay for fire department protection. There's just a lot of things that goes uh, into paying taxes, and rightly so. So uh, I'm glad to see you. Well, thank you, sir. I'm glad to be I'm here. I'm glad you're here. You're doing a good job, by the way. And, and by the way, I might mention, he won't mention this, but I'll mention it, that Alan Lumpkin uh, in recent months received uh, statewide recognition. Was that national recognition? It was state, statewide, statewide recognition. Yes. But still, that's, that was, uh, and rightly so, He's, uh, you've been doing a great job. Thank you, sir. I appreciate yeah, that. Especially, oh, what's his name, uh, retired? Uh, David. Yeah, that guy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he, yeah, I've known him for years. Great <laughs> friend of mine. Yeah, but uh, but uh, no, I'm, I'm teasing, of course. David was, uh, did do a great job for many years. Yes, he did. And 40, have, 40 years, as a matter of fact. 40-some years. Yes. And you stepped right in doing a fine job there as tax administrator for Wayne County. Thank you, sir. So, uh, taxes, the deadline came and went. The deadline came and went this past Monday. Uh, basically, if you haven't paid by now, you're late. 2% uh, interest was added to your bill, and that is good through, the, through this month. And then three quarters of a percent interest will be added in February and every month thereafter On top of. until it's paid, yes, sir. So it sir. accrues, it increases each month. It does, yes, sir. Okay, it each does. month. So you have a 2%? 2% for January. For January. That was added on Tuesday, the 6th. That 2% was added. That's good through the month of January. February 1st, three quarters of a percent will be added on to added the top onto of that. that. And every month thereafter, three quarters of a percent will, will accrue on that. So that could add up to some real money. It could. So why it could. Do, people, do people give you reasons that uh, they forgot? Do they give you reasons that they can't... Uh, uh, cover their tax bill. And I know. I know that and people are going through some hard times right now. They some are. Some people are going through they some are, really hard times. The, the thing is, Wayne, we we had the tax bills out. They've been on the street since last August, in August 2014, when the bills were mailed. Yeah. So the people that most, for most cases, the ones that are having hard times, they will contact us and they will try to make payments all along. They won't wait till they become delinquent. Um, so I really, there's really no excuse. I mean, there's really no answer to your question as far mm -hmm. as why people do this. Um, I'm sure there's plenty of good legitimate reasons, uh, but. Again, it's our job to collect those taxes, so we're trying to do our best. So I would like to let everyone know, uh, probably starting at the end of this month, 1st of February, we'll, we'll start our enforced collections, which will be garnishments of wages, bank attachments, anything like that. We are allowed by law to do that. Is that new? No, that's been, that's been around forever. Oh, okay. It's been around well, forever. Well. We, we, we do it every year, and um, we don't like doing it, but it is, it is our job to collect these taxes. and. So we, we, we'll be starting that. So if you want to avoid that, and we, if we have to garnish your wages, there's a $30 fee added to that for the, for the procedure for doing that. So if you want to save that $30, try to see us this month before we start that, those collection procedures. Okay, can you make allowances and can you help people out if they see you this month and, and say, uh, can we work this out? We can, we can try to make some, we, we, we don't make a lot of arrangements, uh, but we can, we will accept anything they would like to pay. It will not stop, stop any of the actions as far as what we're doing, uh, but we want to have everything paid as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. But now here's, here's the main thing, uh, something to think about the next year if you're having a problem. You send out the tax bills in what month? August. August. Yes, sir. Send them out in August. Mm -hmm. And if someone sees that they're going to have a problem between then and the end of the year, contact your office. Please do, and we also have, we've, we try to get the word out, we actually visit the sen senior center uh, very regularly, our elderly population that are on fixed incomes. We try to encourage them, we can start accepting payments in January. You don't have to wait till the bill comes out. We can start in January. You can divide your bill over 12 months and pay so much per month, and that by the end of the year, your bill's paid. So that would be for the coming year? The, for 2015, now, correct. Now, do you know, except for years where there is the revaluation, do you know pretty much what your tax bill is yes. going to be? The tax bills will not change usually unless the tax rate changes or unless you do something to your property. In other words, if you add to your property, 
put a new addition on your house, add a garage, something like that, your tax bill is going to stay pretty much the same thing. The rate can fluctuate annually, but so far our rate has not changed over the last couple of years. But even though it's going to be close. Oh, so yes. You can, yes. You can, you can estimate. Figure. You can yeah. estimate. So it's, it's a very good idea. If you, if you think you're going to have trouble paying your 15 taxes, come see us now. We can divide that up for you. You can start sending us payments monthly. When we send the bills out in August, it will show your amount of your bill, original bill, show what you've paid and show what you have left to pay. Man, that's the way to do it. It is. It really yeah, is. That it, is it's really, better, better to do that and have us garnish your wages and, and stuff like that. And this is interest-free. Correct. You, don't, you make your payments in this interest you don't that's, pay any extra. That's correct. <laughs> that's very correct. And you mentioned the tax rate now in the last couple of years have been the same, but that's, uh, I'm not sure people, how quickly we forget, people are aware of the fact that there was a big reduction in our tax rate here in Wayne County. Yes, we did. We did. A couple that, of years ago. A couple of years ago, the rate did drop. It sure did. It dropped a, a great amount. In fact, we're one of the lowest in the eastern in, part in, of the in state. In our surrounding area, yeah. we sure are. We One of the lowest, so it's, that's another benefit for living in Wayne County. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. Well, Alan, uh, where do we go from here? Uh, now, we want to, <clears throat> again, we want to stress that if you're having a problem with your tax bill for 2014. 2014, yes. 2014. Or, or, or any back years, any other, any other or years. Or any other delinquent. years for that. Correct. That's right. You need to talk to Alan Lumpkin or anyone in your office, right? Yes, sir. Correct. How many people do you have in your office? Uh, we have uh, 17. Whoa. 17. And how many of those people would actually be uh, 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 a contact person to talk to about a problem with taxes? Uh, the collect we our office is actually divided into several several different departments. We have a listing department, we have a collection department, we have appraisal, we have real estate, we have mapping. So mm -hmm. most of the time, the collection people will deal with this uh, this part of it. Now, was, was 2014 a, a, a revaluation year? No, we, we had our last revaluation in 2011. 2011. And we do it once every eight years. Right. I'm glad you mentioned that, Wayne. We've had a lot of questions recently about that. Um, when we do a revaluation, uh, every county in the state does a revaluation. And once we do that, our value is established, a market value is established as of 1-1-2011. One, one, that value does not change for that year period unless something happens to the property. If there's some damage to the property, if it burns down, if you add something to the property, that obviously increase your value. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of, some now the way our economy is going now, it's sort of fluctuating up and down, up and down, up and down. We've actually seen a little bit of decrease since 2011, which means people that are potentially buying homes now are actually paying a little bit less than what we have on tax value. And that's a big red flag to people. Yes. Now, I want to make sure people understand this. Mm -hmm. Whatever your tax valuation was in 2011, at, uh, that will be the same thing in 2018. Correct, correct. In 2018, you will pay uh, taxes on whatever you paid in 2011. It, your house may have gone up and appreciated 10, 15 percent. Or it could have gone down. Or it could have gone down. And, and that, that's what we've experienced. Now, we, we've had a lot of calls with uh, people concerned over the fact that their tax value may be a few <coughs> thousand dollars over what they actually paid for the property, mm -hmm. and they want to appeal that value. We cannot adjust those values for economic reasons at all during that during the revaluation period. Economy goes up and down. This is the first time we've experienced this uh, in the past, like yeah. you mentioned. In everything the other other revalu up. everything is we have we have revaluation. The next six months, the value's already gone up. Yeah. So nobody really questions that. They see their market value is up, tax value is down here. So there's really no question. This time in eleven, we've actually reversed that a little bit. We've actually seen a decrease in value since one one eleven. Mm -hmm. So it's a it's a red flag to people. People just don't understand that procedure, and and don't, they don't understand we can't adjust those values because it's it's for equity purposes. All the values were established at one time, so everybody's paying on whatever it was at that one right. snapshot in time. Right. And so if we were to go start adjusting values, and neighbors just because their house sold, mm -hmm. you know, you'd have a lot of inequities. Yes. So you, we can't do that. That's why we have a revaluation set once every eight years. Once every eight years. That. Correct. All right. All right, of course, anyone you'll be happy to talk to anyone about that. Certainly, definitely, right. certainly. We'll now, do. Your 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 door's always open. Always. And your phones are always answered. Monday through Friday, <laughs> eight to five, we're there. Okay. We are. Uh, one other thing, this is January. This is our listing period. I will let uh, yeah. let, let the, let the uh, taxpayers know about that. Mm -hmm. uh, here in Wayne County, we send out listing forms to anyone that listed personal property last year. They will actually get a form in the mail, and to list their taxes. We do not send out, if you just own real estate, such as your house and lot, land, stuff like that, you will not get a listing form. There's really nothing for you to list unless you change something, mm -hmm. unless you add it onto your house or tore something down. Mm -hmm. you, will not, you need to just call and let us know that. You will not get a form for that. The forms that were mailed were for personal property, which consists of mobile homes, boats, motors, jet skis, airplanes, stuff like that. Also, business personal property. Mm -hmm. If you're a farmer and farming is your business, then you have to list your equipment, such as your bulk barns, your tractors, your combines, any hog house or poultry house equipment. That has to be listed with us each January. 
And whether you own a mom and pop store or whether you own a big manufacturing facility, all that business personal property, any of your depreciable assets has to be listed has for tax list. purposes every January. All right. During the month of January. <clears throat> all right. If, if you're a homeowner, you own property here, or if you're not, if you own, if you rent. But what if you built a, a tool shed, mm -hmm. if you built a uh, storage shed or have a utility building that you built or bought and put on your property? Correct. That's taxable. Yes, sir, it is. And in that case, if you, <coughs> if you actually added something to your property, you need to call and let us know that. And plus, we do work very closely with the building inspections department. Yeah. And we do get copies of permits when stuff is like that. So we do get that. But you still need to call and make sure it's on your listing. And it's right. very important not only for tax purposes. A lot of times, if something were to happen to your property, the insurance companies use our records to go back and look and see if it's on there. So you make sure you want to have all your property listed correctly. All right. It's very important. All right. Well, there's a lot going on, as always, at the tax department it is. here in the, in the courthouse is. in uh, Wayne County. Uh, one other thing, Wayne, quickly. Yes. Um, our exemption, exemption applications. Uh, this is the time for those also. If you want to apply for your senior citizens exemptions, your vet veterans exemptions, right. now is the time to do that. You have from now to June 1st to apply for those. So you need to see us about that. Also, uh, present use value, the farm use value. January is the time for that also. It's a busy time in January. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, we really need to get all those people in to get that stuff taken care of timely because we, there, there are deadlines for that. Okay, Alan Lumpkin, <coughs> pardon me, tax administrator for Wayne County. Alan, great job. I know you guys are busy and thank you for coming thank in. Thank you, Wayne. I want you to come back soon. We'll talk about this again. Sounds good. All thank right. you a lot. Thank you. Appreciate it. We are always excited to have Terry Ward come by the studio and visit with us. She is the director of the Community Affairs Office for the City of Goldsboro. How you doing? I'm doing good. Well, Terry, it's always good to see you. It's a pleasure here. All right, we've got a lot of things going on with your office and you're a busy person, so tell me, we'll start at the beginning, which is always a good place to start, right? Okay, yes, this right. new year is very exciting for us. So what's going on? First thing we have going on is the Mayor's Youth Council. Right. We're now opening up applications for new students for next year. Okay. That will begin this month all the way through July. Mm -hmm. So students will be able to go online, fill out the application, receive all the letters they need, and mm -hmm. turn in that information. But if they do not go online, they can always come by the Community Affairs Office at City Hall on Center Street and pick up a hard copy. Okay. Again, they can do this by going by City Hall. Yes. Picking up a hard copy, an application. Yes. And submit it that way. That's right. Goldsboro Youth Council. What is a youth council? What is that? Oh, the youth council is made up of 10 schools in the city of Goldsboro. Wow. There are 10 different high schools. Mm -hmm. And they have different decision making. And behind junior high. Oh, leadership. Leadership. Ninth through 12th grade. Ninth through 12th grade. They're also members of the state youth council. Oh. Where they have the opportunity to visit other cities. Mm -hmm. Four times a year, they go across the state to learn leadership skills, team building skills. This has really got to be exciting for young people. It is. To it visit is. other cities and see and get these leadership uh, skills and abilities. Yes, and they even have a, um, the opportunity to meet new students. Mm -hmm. And some have even became roommates with students in college. Really? Yes. Now that's yeah. even that much more special. And I can tell you about one of our other little special students we've had, David Thornton. Was on David Thornton, Council. the football player? Yes. He comes back, sneak in every now and then at a really? meeting. So he can talk to the kids. Well, you know, I talked to him many years ago, just as he was getting into, foot, into, into uh, when he graduated and mm -hmm. was getting into uh, the NFL. And mm -hmm. What a great guy he is and a, and a role model. He is oh, yes. an excellent role model. Yes, yes. He's a very smart young man, and uh, we're proud of him. Yes, David and we love for him to stop back oh, by yeah. and talk to the students. Oh, yeah. But wow. yes, okay. and we have on? another program going on, mm -hmm. and that is the School of Government. This oh. is the second uh, class that we have. Okay. We can only take about 25 students. That's it. So we want everyone to go on the website for the City of Goldsboro, mm -hmm. go ahead, pull the application off, complete it, and send it in to the Community Affairs Office again. Mm -hmm. And we have a hard copy as well in the Community Affairs Office. So they wanted to come by and pick yes. up a hard copy they can. This is an excellent opportunity for people to learn about city government and all the departments. You know, I am always hearing, I'm with the county and you're with the city, mm -hmm. and I'm always hearing people refer to government mm -hmm. in one 
big lump. Mm -hmm. You know, all those guys, they don't know what they're doing. My taxes are too high and this and that and the other, and they're causing trouble. That's baloney. It they is. don't know what's going on we because need to, they don't go to the meeting. That's true. And we need to have maybe a meeting set up and have one of the students to come in and talk about actually what they learned. And what a great idea. The city government. That's a good idea. So that's, that's a great opportunity. We're yeah. looking for people to come. If you don't know how it operates, you don't know what you're doing. That's right. right? That's you don't right. know how to make, you don't know how to work with the system. And there's a way that you can achieve what you want to achieve mm -hmm. through the system and the right way by knowing how it works. Exactly. Especially when people really only think about police and fire. But well, there's yeah. other departments oh, so with many. the city, planning, utilities. Yeah, sanitation, yeah. taxes. Yes, is, uh, absolutely. Water, yeah, utilities, mm -hmm. yeah, exactly. Wow, oh, this is great, but, but, but seating is limited. Yes, seating is limited, so we want you to come on in, fill it out, and make sure you can get me in the number. Okay. All right, now, one more thing. Yes, we do. And this is the big one, right? Oh, yes. We're we taking, go? well, we're selling tickets now for our Martin Luther King program. This is our 27th year. Wow. It's a special one. We have Carolyn McKinstry coming in. Carolyn McKinstry, now who is she? She is one of five little girls that was in the 16th Street bombing church down in Alabama, oh in Birmingham. Goodness. She survived because she was in the bathroom. She was the young lady in the bathroom yes, at the church was. when it yes, was Yes, she was. So she has a story to oh, tell. Oh, I bet she does. And she's also willing to even sign autographs. Really? Yes. So, so she's coming to Goldsboro. She's coming to Goldsboro. For the Martin Luther King Day. And that observance. will be on Monday, mm -hmm. January 19th, at the Goldsboro Valley. Disciple Institute on Hooks River Road. Tickets are $15, so you even get a breakfast with that. Oh my. Breakfast is from 7.30 to 8.45, and the actual program is at 9. Okay. So we should have you out of there by 11. No, later 11 than 11. 11 a.m.? 11 a.m. Oh, okay. Well, I'm just checking. <laughs> just checking. All right. But All right. we I'll also have something special for them, too. We have planners that we're giving away. What to kind of planners do you have? These are planners, compliments from the city of Goldsboro and Wayne County. Well, oh Michael, let's look at that right there. Look at that. Isn't that neat? It's got numbers in it and it's dates. Got everything you will want to plan for for the entire year. All right. Yeah, okay. Well, I'm almost getting that on camera so you so we can see. But that's a lot of. Uh, uh, that's that's excellent, right there. And you're going to give those to the, those who attend that. Uh, yes. Now, what again? What's the admission for this? The admission is fifteen dollars. Right. And they need to purchase their tickets by Friday of this week, because well, no, we only have no. a few left. Friday of this week is like soon. Yes. Like immediately. Yes. Like right now. Yes. So what number do they call or get? How do they get tickets? They can call 919-580-4359, mm -hmm. which mm -hmm. is a community affairs office, mm -hmm. or stop by 214 North Center Street, City Hall. Oh, historic that's historic building. <laughs> the historic part, right? Yes. All right, now again, that phone number, one more time. Phone number is 919-580-4359. All right, LaTerry Ward, the director of the community affairs office, City of Goldsboro, Seymour, wait a minute. What is it now? It's, uh, I've got it right here. It's uh, Come on. Be More, Do More, See More. There you go. I got it. Doggone it. Thank, Thank you, you so much. It's always no great problem. to see you. Love to see you. All right. We're back on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Yes, and we are. And what did you have to talk about, about the uh, Well, because Monday, Monday is a holiday, it's Martin Luther King right. holiday, so th we would be closed, and that's typically the night we would have our city council meeting. Right. So we will now have it the following night on Tuesday, January the 20th, same time, same place, five o'clock will be our work session, okay. and seven o'clock will be our regular meeting over at Historic City Hall. Now that'll be Tuesday night. Tuesday night. Don't forget Tuesday Tuesday morning. Yes, Tuesday night, five o'clock. Tuesday night, five o'clock. Yes. And Tuesday morning, the county commissioners will have their meeting. What time? Wayne County Board of Commissioners begin with a briefing at 8 a.m. and will continue with a regular meeting at 9 a.m. in Commission Chambers, 4th Floor, Wayne County Courthouse. A day of local government. I'm telling you, I love it. <laughs> I love it. All day long. And you're, uh, the public is always invited to all of the meetings in the uh, city in the uh, city council and That's the right. uh, county commissioners. And no, they are both <coughs> they are both videotaped, so they yeah. will be. Uh, on the YouTube channel of both the city and the county for your viewing. They will also run right here on Channel 10, WGTV. And on Channel 99, if you're a, uh, an at and uh, U-verse customer, go to Channel 99 and you have to scroll down to find Wayne County, but we're right there. <laughs> it was on this day in 1972 that Ross Bagdasarian passed away. And who might he be? You know him better as David Seville. No, no. 
Uh, I, that you, means no, nothing to me, so really, give me more. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just it's okay. an old man. David Seville was the chipmunks. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, okay. He, the chipmunks. Uh, was he, he the voice of the chipmunks? He, was, he created them. He did the songs. He was the voices. He wow. did all the voices. He did all the music. Uh, he also wrote Rosemary Clooney's hit, Come Out of My House. Okay. A lot of people don't know that. He also wrote the big hit for Perry Como, Witch Doctor. Was that Perry Como? I was way I before remember. my day. I we, we weren't I born then. We I don't know. know. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. Sometimes. I'm even off of that one. You don't get that one either, huh? Ross Bagdasari and David Seville, the musician, the force, and the artist behind Alvin and the Chipmunks, novelty songs of the 50s, 60s, and 70s. He also appeared in the movie Viva Zapata. Starlock 17, Rear Window. I do know that one. You know the Rear, rear Window. Okay, you know we, we've one. heard one that we know. Woohoo! Okay, all right. That's <laughs> right. That is Hitchcock. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, he's uh, he did uh, quite well for himself in the entertainment industry. In 1972, he passed away. Birthday today from Marilyn Horn, the opera singer, 81. A.J. Foyt, uh, NASCAR and, uh, and uh, Indy 500 winner several times. Uh, he's 80 today. Jim Stafford. The singer, I don't like spiders and snakes. N means nothing to me, sorry. Okay. <laughs> sorry. That's not a statement, I'm saying that's the name of a song. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> he is uh, 71 today. <clears throat> Pardon me, Ronnie Millsap. Yep, I know okay, that name. All that. right, woohoo, finally. Isn't he from North Carolina? <clears throat> yeah, from, he is from North Carolina, isn't he? He's from Robbinsville, mm -hmm. not Robbins. Robbinsville, North Carolina, up in the western part of the state. Mm -hmm. He is 69 today. Debbie Allen, the actress oh, and yes. dancer, she's 65. And Kate Moss. Yes, no, her too. The, the uh, actress uh, and supermodel is 41 today. All right. Hey, okay. They get younger and younger. I'm telling you. <laughs> Just a reminder, city and county offices will be closed on Monday in honor of Martin Luther King. And Tuesday night will be our city council meeting instead of Monday night due to the holiday. That's exactly right. And then we're on our way to February. We are? At some point. <laughs> <laughs> Monday's just the 19th. Well, I know, I know, I know. We're getting I'm there. kind of looking ahead to things. Here, 2015 you know. is flying by. It is indeed, And The first thing you know, it's going to be, and the days are getting longer. I know. I've gained two or three seconds Do you morning. know, when does time change? Do you know? I looked it up. I can't remember. It's uh, the end of March, I believe. Okay, so we still have a while. Uh, not too, well, end of March, maybe the beginning of May, somewhere. Speaking it's of, this we... This year, we, I know that. Okay. We talked about things. We talked about in December if we were going to make any New Year's resolutions. Did you end up doing that? I made one. Or did you decide not to? Well, I kind of decided not to promise myself anything, but I'm kind of in, in that groove. I needed to lose a little weight. Uh -huh. I needed to eat healthier. Okay. And see, that's all part of being healthy. True. It's not just to lose weight. As uh, we were talking with, uh, with Cricket Davis of mm -hmm. the Family Y here mm -hmm. a few days ago, and she reminded us that losing weight is great. But if you're not doing it to, to get healthier, then you're just kind of defeating the whole purpose. Right, exactly. There. So uh, Changing your lifestyle change completely. Change your lifestyle a little bit. Mm -hmm. So eat properly, eat less. You can eat anything you want as long as you don't eat too much of it. That, and, and that's true. Okay. In, in proper proportions. Mm -hmm. Lose weight. Do a little exercise. And when I say exercise, you don't have to get out there and, and kill but yourself. But you have to move. Take it easy. Yeah, you do. Yep. What about you? Uh, not really, nothing major. Uh, you know, last year I had a lot. Yeah, you did. And yeah. thank goodness reached all those goals. This year I've just decided wow. that 2015 is going to be one of the best years yet. Period. Hey. Period. Hey. Just going to believe it. That's the end of that. Yeah, hey, there you go. That's enough. Don't you think? I love it. All right. I love it. So we've made our again. statement. We have. <laughs> Tomorrow begins the weekend. That's right. And Monday we're closed. Monday we're closed. So we will be back on Tuesday. That's exactly right. Right here on Wayne Goldsboro Television. Please join us Tuesday for whatever this is. WGTV Today. Oh, yeah, WGTV Today, Wayne Gold for a television. I said that. Anyway, until then, I'm Wayne Alley. And I'm Kim Best, and this is what's happening in your community.